me give one more thing that's, that's going on, which I just, because I like to study trends. Back in the dark ages, every little town had a church in, in Europe and Asia. They all had this little church, right? Everybody rallied around God or Jesus or Buddha, whoever they rallied mm -hmm, around. Mm -hmm. Then during the industrial age, they rallied around like the war heroes, like the, you know, the, the Marine Corps, the, the Marines raising mm -hmm, the flag on mm -hmm. Iwo Jima and Robert E. Lee and the USS Grant. So it went from agrarian age of religious to industrial age with valor or heroes. You know what it is in information age? Mm. The victim. Mm. We worship the victim. When they start, you know, like they, they're tearing down Robert A. Lee statues. Mm -hmm. Now, I, I'm not for slavery. But why are they tearing that down? That was history. You know, everybody's a victim today. Everybody's a victim, you know. So my friend, you know, they say, well, we should give the blacks back their money. We should pay mm -hmm. them for slavery. Mm -hmm. I said, good luck. Well, what about the American Indian? They got their land taken mm -hmm. too. What about the Japanese? We got locked away in internment camps. So everybody now, you raise your hand, I'm a victim. Everybody rallies around you. You know, I'm, not, I'm not saying it's right to be a victim. It's, it's not right to pick on people. But today, the people we were, are worshiping are victims. Look at when that Supreme Court justice was, the woman says he raped me, but she couldn't remember that he raped her or something. I'm going, Kavanaugh. Huh? Kavanaugh? Yeah, yeah. I'm going, holy mackerel, the poor guy. She accuses him, but she can't remember. And everybody just jumps all over the guy. And I, I thought she were innocent until proven guilty, but today, if you say you did, you said something, you said something mean, you did this, the whole world wants to jump on you because you, you created a victim. So what's going to bring America down is the victim mentality. And we're in the middle of it. That's Bernie Sanders, that's AOC, that's all of these guys who just, oh, look at all the victims we got. Look at all the homeless. Look at all this. Look at the student loan debt. I'm going, yeah, look at it, but giving them all money is not going to solve the problem. How do we get here? What's that? How do we get here? I don't know. You know, my, my standard pat answer is no financial education in schools. What do they teach you about money? So everybody knows in 1971, Nixon took the dollar off the gold standard. Mm -hmm. Now what does that mean? Fake money. That's why I cut fake money, fake teachers, fake assets. As soon as they could print money, any time throughout history, they printed money, the money disappeared. It went broke. Every country that printed money went broke. We're going broke. U.S. is going down. Japan is going down. Europe's going down. South America's going down. Mexico's in serious trouble. Look at Venezuela, the richest oil country in the world. They're going down. Zimbabwe, going down. Because we're run by these klept, you know, klept, klept, kleptomaniacs or something. They're called politicians. Everybody's like, same as who stole my pension. The same guys that robbed the world are robbing their pensions. Highly educated elites. I went to Harvard, went to Yale, went to MIT. I'm smarter than you, I know everything. Let me take your money. That's where we are today. They're all poor dads who think they're smart.